Let's remember this week.
I'm going to ask you to stand and um, as we recite our our vision, the victory word vision. Since we know without vision there is limited sight. Amen. Yes, God. Amen. All right, it's on your screen. Come and go with me. The Victory Word Church is a place where you will experience freedom and worship, connection with others through life and relationships, compassion for the lost, and the teaching of God's Word in love. A place where lives are being changed, hurts are being healed, and hope is being restored. We are in power lives with purpose for Him. Hallelujah! Come on, come on, come on, bring your hands together. We thank, we thankful, Heavenly Father. We are thankful for you waking us up this morning, giving us another chance to praise Your holy name. Hallelujah. On this Sunday, you may be seated in the house of the Lord. Thank you. On this Sunday, December the eighteenth. To our quote of the week. Don't get upset with people or situations. Both are powerless without your reaction. Amen? Amen. Amen. Remember that. Remember. All right. To keep informed of events going on at Victory Road Church, if you would like, you can join us um, on our mobile text, uh, text mobile church, by texting VWC to five nine seven six nine, and you will be added to our mobile text group. Amen. 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 It is He Sunday. Hallelujah. He Sunday. Yes, it's an opportunity yes, to be thankful, not just in His Word, but indeed. I sow the seed on behalf of our shepherd, our pastor, Dr. M.K. Oliver. It's He Sunday. Amen. 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 Our schedule of services uh, for Bible study this coming Wednesday, December the 21st at 7 p.m. Join us virtually in our cyber sanctuary for Bible study. Uh, our next service will be on Christmas Sunday, December the 25th, and it will be virtual only. So join us at 11 a.m. on Facebook Live for our virtual Christmas service. On Wednesday, December 28th, will be our last virtual Bible study for the year at 7 p.m. Amen. Happy blessed birthday anniversary or whatever it is you're celebrating for this month of December. Um, we always want to bless each and every one who wants to celebrate uh, significant events in their lives. We're thankful. We're thankful. And on this Thursday, December the 22nd, our sister Sharita James will be celebrating her birthday. Oh, amen. amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. We pray that all will have a blessed birthday anniversary and that the good Lord continues to bless you all to celebrate many, many more anniversaries. Um, listen, as we transition into our time of giving, I would like to stress how important it is to remember to sow your tithes and offering seeds. Amen. Whether we're virtual or in-house, we must remember that. And we must honor God by supporting and honoring this ministry. And remember that giving is an expression of our thankfulness and praise to God. It comes from a heart of worship. So let's worship God by giving and praising him. Amen. So as you prepare to um, sow seeds on today, you can go to our website, www.victorywordchurch.org, and hit the giving button, and you can use your debit card to continue to help in the upbuilding of the kingdom of God. It's via PayPal. You can also make your donations via Give or Five. If you don't have the app, download the app and look for Victory Word Church Detroit, and you can sow a seed via Give or Five. As always, we are incredibly grateful to those who give so regularly. We thank you, we thank you, and we God continue to bless you. If you need to reach Pastor Michael or myself, Lady T, just give us a call in the church office phone at 313-243-4512. If you have need for a special prayer, please make your prayer request at www 
www.victoryworthprayerrequest at gmail.com or go to our website at www.victorywordchurch.org and hit the prayer request tab and it will go directly to our pastor and we will pray with and for you. Um, continue to keep our shepherd, our pastor, in our prayers as he continues to rehab from his back surgery. Amen. Amen. Keep him lifted and we pray him back to good health and strength. Our prayers are purposeless. Uh, Victory Word Church family, Pastor DL and First Lady Harville and New Life Ministries Worldwide, the Spiritual Israel Church of Autonomy, Pastor Remarkable Pittman and New Prosperity Baptist Church, Bishop Leonard Gardner and family, Pastor Greg and Lady Smith, and the Zion Hill Baptist Church, Pastor James and First Lady Reigns and the Ecclesia of Christian Ministries, Pastor Dorn and Lady Morrison and Higher Praise Worship Center, Pastor James and First Lady Minnick, and the Mount Pleasant Missionary Baptist Church, the Oliver family, amen. Minister Lou Clay, Sister Marshall White, Sister Sharon Mack, Minister Carol Hicks, Amika Easley, Malcolm Sully, Brother Richie King, Pastor James Marks, and our family in our Victory Word Church located in the country of India. Pastor Daniel Mose and family in our Victory Word Church located in the country of Kenya. Detroit Police and Fire Departments. All of the schools, all of the school systems and students of all levels, first responders and healthcare and essential workers, and a special prayer for the sick, the shut in, and the bereaved. If you have anyone to add to our prayers and purposes list, just give us a call on the church office phone at 313-243-4512, and we will gladly add you and pray for you. Don't forget to go to our Facebook page every Monday for the awesome anointed word of the week. And remember, we are living our future now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, put those blessed hands together. It is given time. It is given time. Hallelujah. You are in need of our Lord. We see our Lord. And she will gladly assist you. Remember to notate what form you are in knowing your seat. Uh, and whether it be your five, 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 Father, thank you this day. Thank you for this day that you have made, and we thank you for allowing us to be in this day. We thank you for giving hearts, giving minds, and giving souls, Father God. And we ask that these seeds bring us our harvest. Seed, bring us our harvest. Say that with me. Seed, bring us our harvest. Amen. And it is so in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Amen.
around for those who are not finished. You're not going to have lunch yet. Okay. Now that you've had your appetite, hope you are ready for your meal. Amen. Hope you're hungry. Hope you're busted. Hope you're still chasing. Facebook Live and got lazy and oh my God, we have more viewers online than we have seats in this building. And so God, we're asking you, listen to me, all those watching right now, look at your pastor. First Sunday, we're in house, first Sunday, second Sunday, third Sunday, and fourth Sunday. Amen. I know, I know we've been comfortable watching service from our bed, in our living room, in the kitchen, driving. You ain't even supposed to be watching while you're driving. And so come on, Vicky Word. It's been, it's been rough two and a half, three years making these transitions that we've made. But it's time to come back to the sanctuary. Amen. Amen. So I'm looking forward to seeing everyone first, the first Sunday in January 2023. Amen. Amen. Victor, would you put your hands together for the voices of victory today? Yes. 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 I could preach from there. He'll never walk out on me. No, never. No. I'm a witness. I'm a witness. Uh, when I had back surgery, I was in a wheelchair and went to a walker. Then I was on a cane. Now I can shout and lift these legs up all by myself. I'm a witness that he'll never walk out on me. Yes, yes, yes. Put your hands together for our co-lead elder, Elder Allen. Wow. Could you put your hands together? Listen. For the last three weeks, he has been doing our virtual Bible study. Amen. Amen. And I've been watching the numbers because you know how we do. If it ain't passed, I ain't watching. Well, the numbers have been good. So I'm thankful that you're tuning in to watch our Bible study. So that one's going to carry us out the rest of this month. Amen. So yes. tune in this Wednesday, yes. Yes. 7 o'clock. And I'm going to say, Elder Allen, you look beautiful on, 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 on camera. I mean, you handsome man. You boy, just that alone ought to make you want to look in and see your bodies. He's wearing his uh, Christmas, you know, just a holiday, giving you the holiday spirit. Amen. Yes. And I'm thankful for him. 
thank you. Thank you for all of Thank you for our word, family. Thank you for our guests that are here today for special presentations today. Amen. I'm not going to hold long because I don't, I grew up. Oh, no, I'm not going to say all that because some of them might be watching. But anyway, uh, uh, I just told the Lord one day, give it to me, Father. I promise I won't hold your people all day. I, I, I promise, I promise you, Lord. And so we're thankful. We're thankful and we're grateful. And tonight, today is a uh, being third Sunday in our last service in the house. We're going to bring Elder Allen. He's going to carry us through our communion. We're going to serve communion today. Amen. And I'll come back to you. Let us receive Elder Allen. Wow. Amen. Please stand. We are healed, 
We are redeemed. We are delivered from the authority of darkness. We are translated into the kingdom of God's dear son. We are above and not beneath. We come behind and no good thing. All that we set our hand to prospers. And we praise you, Father, for all the newness of life that we now enjoy in your son, Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Amen, victory word. Amen. And we thank we thank God for the for this opportunity to take a moment. Amen. Amen. You turn your Bibles to Second Corinthians four. It's on the screen. Second Corinthians, the fourth chapter. First and second verses. I'm reading from the message translation. The word of God says, since God has so generously let us in on what he is doing, we're not about to throw up our hands and walk off the job just because we run into occasional hard times. We refuse to wear masks and play games. We don't maneuver and manipulate them behind the scenes. And we don't twist God's word to suit ourselves. Rather, we keep everything we do and say out in the open, the whole truth on display. So that those who want for the excuse me, so that those who want to can see and judge for themselves in the presence of our God. Yes. Amen. 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 Go with me to our second scripture. Amen. Isaiah. Isaiah 38. One through eight. At that time, Hezekiah got sick and he was about to die and the prophet Isaiah son of Amos visited him and said God says prepare your affairs and your family this is it you're going to die you're not going to get well Hezekiah turned away from Isaiah and facing the wall prayed to God God please I beg you Remember how I have lived my life? I've lived faithfully in your presence. Lived out of a heart that was totally yours. You've seen how I've lived, the good that I have done. And Hezekiah wept as he prayed painful tears. Then God told Isaiah, go and speak with Hezekiah and give him this message from me. God the God of your ancestors, David. I've heard your prayer. I have seen your tears. And here's what I'll do. I'll add 15 years to your life. And I'll save both you and this city. From the king of Assyria, I have my hands on the city. And this is your confirming sign, confirming that I, God, will do exactly what I have promised Watch for this. As the sun goes down and the shadow lengthens on the sundial of Ahaz, I'm going to reverse the shadow ten notches on the dial. And that's what happened. The declining sun's shadow reversed ten notches on the dial. 
I want to preach from the sermon topic just for a few moments this morning. I thank God last night was not my last night. Thank you, Lord. Just turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor. he gave me another chance. Yeah. 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 I'm not going to be long, but in the text, it, it said, Hez, this is the, the, what I love about this text, it speaks for itself. Hezekiah was about to die. Anybody in this room ever felt like you was just at your end? Yeah. 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 Come on oh, I, I, you know, I can be the witness and testify that I thought I was at my end. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. When you ever been in a situation, circumstances, when you don't have no control over it, you've done the best that you can do, and it's all in God's hand, and you feel like you're going to die, but the song said, he'll never walk out on you. He'll never walk out. Uh, uh, so Hezekiah, he, he, uh, he tells God, Lord, don't you remember how I walked? How I prayed? How I walked up right before you? How I did what you told me to do? See, he did everything he was supposed to do and still was about to die. Some of us, not all of us, but some of us don't do half of what we should do and God gives you another chance. I wish I had somebody in the house today that can thank God for another chance. Come on, come on. God will do just what he said he would do. But in 2023, I challenge you to do what you said you would do for God. I, I wish I could preach a sermon that would just tell you that everything is all right. But in this season that we're living in, everything ain't all right. Uh, we're living in a season right now where there's no respect for our elders, there's no respect for our parents, there's no respect for law and order, where you can get in your car and do donuts on Seven Mile and Greenfield in the middle of the street and then put fire in the street and the police have to stand by and allow ignorance to, to have its way because they don't want to anyone to lose their life, we're living in some difficult yes, times. Yes, yes. And that's why we have to be kingdom minded to understand that no weapon formed against us yes. shall prosper. Yes. I'm here to, 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 to lift someone's spirit up to let them know that although you're going through, uh -huh. you're not through going. Yes. And I'm here to tell you, look, Unto the hills from what's coming to your help. Your help comes from the Lord. Not the government. Not your job. Not your education. Not whatever it is. All these degrees. I don't care what the thermostat says. Your help comes from the Lord. And if it had not been for the Lord. On our side. Most of us either would have lost our minds. Or cussed somebody out. Yeah, we're living in some tight times in a tight yes. season. Yes, yes, yes. Ever since 2019 ended and 2020 came in, isn't it funny? 2020 represents vision, but none of us saw it coming. None of us saw it coming. That, that lets us know that no matter what you think you can do, at the end of the day, God has to be in charge. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. You may be going along right now real good, but I'm glad that last night yeah. ah. <laughs> wasn't my last night. Praise God. Praise God. Yes. Praise God. Victory Word, Word family, those watching us by social media and YouTube, I'm here to tell you today, as God told Hezekiah, you need to get your house in order. Yes. 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 Because 2023 hasn't gotten here yet. Get yes. yourself together. Get yes. your focus together. Victory Word, we relaunched yes. this right. year. We relaunched. Yes. We said we were going to do some changes in our life. Yes. I need you to come back to the sanctuary. Yes. You are the church, but I need you here in the sanctuary.
sanctuary so we can praise God together corporately so we can build up each other's spirit. And let me tell you, social media ain't nothing but social destruction if it's not used in the correct and proper way. And we use all of these gadgets and things to get further and further away from each other and then have the nerve to press a like button and you won't even like what God is doing for you right now in this season because we take the easy way out but when we want God we want him right now I wish I had a witness today stop taking the easy way the quick way because the Bible tells me broad is the way that leadeth to destruction but narrow is the way that leadeth to light and guess what sisters and brothers there's not many people who really want light they just want lights. Right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Make it one. You can be whoever you want to be on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> and it's really Facebook. All right. Come on now. Many people come on and they say all these wonderful things and all of you. You can put on a good face mm -hmm. even when you're not in a good place. Yes. 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 I know that. Yes. In twenty twenty. Three. Your focus is going to have to be on God and what God has for you and stop listening to people around you who don't even have the, the decency to come to you and say what's on their heart when you have to hear it through the highways and byways and then when they see you they smiling in your face while they're trying to stick the knife in your back and I'm here to tell you in 2023 us that are in the body of Christ are going to have to have a spirit of discernment to know when to shut the door, when to let someone in, when to speak, when to keep quiet, because we're living in some times right now where people just don't care. But I'm so glad that last night was done. My last night. You see, many of us don't move the way we should because the Almighty is not our priority. All right, now. No, 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 no. You know what I found out? It's amazing. God allows you to see things when you when you when you when you locked in. Okay. All right. Yeah. You and everyone here will understand what I'm about to say. It's amazing how people will tell you they love you, but there's no action behind it. No, no, sh the words is good, but the last time I checked, actions is better. And God said to me, the Holy Spirit said to me one day, he said, <laughs> Oliver, I don't know what, what, what well, what you getting upset for? Because they say they love you. They've been telling me that. <laughs> They've been telling me that since they since they've been in the world that I love you. <laughs> I love you, Jesus. <laughs> I love you, Lord. Yeah, I, I love, and won't do any show no attributes of that love. <laughs> and God still have mercy. Yes, still you. have grace. Yes. I'm here to tell you, sisters and brothers, that sometimes even though they don't show it. You still got to show grace. Yes, yes, yes. People tell me they love Victory Word. Won't even come to Victory Word. My goodness, my goodness. But, but you know, it's amazing how we want something for nothing. Mm -hmm. We want God to do everything, and we don't want to ever do our part. That's right. Now, That's right. I'm not talking to the ones that are. I'm not even talking to the ones that ain't. Mm -hmm. What I'm merely <laughs> saying is that in 2023, your word it's going to be your blessing. All right. Come on now. Come yeah, on. yeah, that's what he told me to tell this house. Your word right. is going to be your blessing. All right. Speak those things that be not as though they are. Every time something comes against you, you tell the Lord, thank you. Yes. Lord, I know I'm trusting you. I'm going to believe in you. I'm keeping you. Why? Because in 2023, I've decided to make you my priority. Yes. Yes. And see, you know what? The, the, the word of God is so good because it says in it that a tree is known.
by the fruit that it bears. Yeah. The question I ask today is, even though you're having some fruit issues, the question becomes, are you strong enough to deal with the issue through that particular season? All right, all right. There are going to be seasons in your life where the fruit doesn't look productive or it's not coming as fast as you want. But sometimes it doesn't come as fast as you want because it hasn't processed itself to the point of being in manifestation. So you have to wait on manifestation through something called a process. Many of us don't want to go through the process, but we want the manifestation. And you can't have manifestation without the process. And the process is, though you slay me, yet will I trust you. I'm going to trust you when I'm up. I'm going to trust you when I'm down. I'm going to trust you with tears in my eyes. I'm going to trust you with pain in my body. I'm going to trust you on my back. I'm going to lay on my back looking up. I'm still going to say, I, even though I'm hurt right now, I'm going to praise you through it all. Through all I've been through. Lord, it was you. Lord, when I stumbled. And Lord, when I fall. When my friends, they turned and took away from me, Lord. But you were still right. situation where God made the situation back up to give you a second chance at what he had planned for you. See, see, we don't live by the rules of this world because we are kingdom citizens. Kingdom citizens carry a passport, not just a driver's license. See, a driver's license only going to get you so far. That's what church is. But when you got your passport, that's kingdom because it allows you to go from place to place to place. You can go further than what your driver's license can take. When you get in the kingdom mind, you can go further than what traditional church teaches. Traditional church tells you you got to be there all day. But I'm here to tell you God is right on time. It don't take God all day. 
it. And it don't take us all day. You say, Lord, I thank you. I thank you for every mountain you brought me over. And every valley you carried me through. I wish I had just three witnesses in here today to say, how I got over. How I made it over. My soul looks back in wonder. How I got over. Do I have anybody in here that can say, my soul looks back in wonder. How I got over. I made it. because I know what he brought me through in 2022. Well, he brought me out of the hospital. That's one thing he did. Took care of my children. Took care of my wife. Mother transition, but I'm still here. Father transition, but I'm still here. Grandmother transition, I'm still here. But by the grace of God, I'm still here. You want to just touch yourself and say, Lord, I'm thank you. teaching it here. I've been declaring and decreeing. Yes, yes. Greater is coming. Yes, yes. Greater is coming. Believe I don't care if you ain't got a dollar in your pocket right. and lights about to be turned off and, and it looks bleak. I'm here to tell you greater is coming. Yes, yes. How do you know? Because his word says, greater is he that is in me. Greater is he that is in you. That he that is in the world. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. You are and thank you. Yes. Amen. 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 Well, we're going to be here just a few more moments. I'm bringing Lady T back. Amen. 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 We have special presentations today, and I'm just thankful. Yes, God. I'm grateful. I'm just grateful. Yes, 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 yes. I'm telling you, I didn't have to get on my back to be grateful either. All right. Amen. I was thanking God through it all. Yeah. Victory World, we've been so blessed. Ten years old, paid off our bills and win in the middle of the pandemic. Yeah, that's right. Wasn't even here, and God still did it. He did it through people. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Come on, Lady T. Come on, put your hands together. Amen. 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 Isn't that black man preach today? Come on, put your hands together and give a pastor. Preaching hard at him. Watch me. Throw that back out, Pastor. Throw that back out. <laughs> we thank God for him. We thank God for him and his transparency and, his, and just letting God use him. Yeah. We thank God. We thank God for each and every one of you, man. And um, the ladies of Victory and I uh, decided to adopt um, 
a family, one of our own this year, to support. Because you know, we, we understand we all have struggles, we all have hard times. Yes. And, and who better to depend on than your family? Yes, amen. So um, we got together and we did some things. Okay? Amen. We did some things. Amen. Um, she let us know what she needed. And we, we tried, we did our best to make it happen. That's all right. With the help of each and every one of you and others that are not here or maybe viewing us, we did it, okay? Amen. We did that. Amen. So, thank you. Thank you. Um, so we, we, we started with um, uh, the need for help with fire maintenance. Amen. Amen. We did that. All right, all right. All right. We started with the need of uh, bedroom furniture. Amen. We did that. All right, all right. We started with the need of living room furniture. We did that. We, we did that today, but we did that. <laughs> Dining room furniture. We did that. Yeah. yeah. Amen. Um, clothing, shoes, whatever, whatever she asked for, we did that. Yeah. And we are so incredibly grateful to each, each, each and every one of you. Hallelujah. I'm going to ask Minister C to come up and she can um, let us know what she did that was so, just touched my heart. Yeah. I mean, I, I love each and every one, and we all played a part of it. Just remember that. Yes, right? yes, yes, yes. But you got some other people involved yeah. you know, that are yeah. now our family, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So, come on, uh, Minister C. Oh, uh, we're going to talk about the Live Life Federal Credit Union. Come on. Amen. 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 Um, can my Live Life Federal Credit Union family please come forward? Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. All right. Amen. Um, Good looking women. <laughs> yes, um, I'm just kidding. Yeah, right. So, give so, a shot. Give him a shot. <laughs> I only shared on the stage. Yeah, go up on the yeah, so they can want to see everybody. I'm looking. Yeah, it In general, general conversation uh, with my sister here, um, I just shared the love letter that Lady T gave us all. She gave us uh, a challenge, uh, not necessarily a challenge, but she gave us a love letter. All the ladies a love letter, and this wonderful woman right here. Uh, said, okay, okay, I'm going I'm to get this, I'm going to get that, I'm going to get that. Um, I was in a meeting <laughs> that was overdue, and I was trying to get off the off the call, and these lovely ladies here sat and they talked um, without my knowledge. I did not know. Um, and they said, well, we're going to adopt your Victory Word Church family. Yes. Yes. And so when I got into the, to the room, I just like, couldn't hold back the tears. It was a little emotional because again, they didn't have to do it. Um, there are so many other people that have the need, but they did see fit that uh, our our sister here at Victory Word Church was uh, was in greater need. So I thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much for being my co-workers, my colleagues, my boss. I thank you. And so on behalf of uh, Live Life Federal Credit Union, um, we did um, purchase um, bedroom sack. Yeah. For Sister James and as well as her daughter, we did that yeah. as well, and then we have some more um, donations to give you as well uh, on behalf of Live Life Federal Credit Union. So we thank you, yeah. <laughs> and we thank God for you. Yeah. Um, all, one more thing. Hold on. Hold on. One second. <laughs> yeah. So when we had the furniture delivered, unbeknownst to me, I didn't know that they was not going to put it together. Oh, <laughs> I bribed them like, please, Lord, please, can I just I, I give you some extra money if you do it? And they said, no, we don't do it. We just deliver. See. So we did have our our, our good trustee, trustee Gary. Yeah. <laughs> 
to go in and put and put together the furniture. So you come up, come on up, Gary. I had a we had some more money left over because I was trying to use all the money that they gave us. <laughs> Every last thing. So this is just a token of appreciation to say thank you for all your hard work. We appreciate you. Putting, to, putting together furniture is not his thing, but he did it. <laughs> he did it. And so with that, we thank you. This is for you and your daughter to do whatever is needed for you. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I got stuff here. That's all right. This here is from the crazy. <laughs> We love you. We love you. And then this here is from myself, Elder Mark, and Boston Oliver. We just wanted to give you an extra, uh, extra token. We love you. Come on, put those glasses in. Yeah. I know you're dry out the house. Maybe on your couch crying too. We just thank God for giving hearts, minds, and souls. And especially during this season. It's tough. It's tough every day. During this season, it's just a little extra, you know? It's, it's just a little extra stress, amen? We thank God. We thank God for living life and putting in the wonderful, wonderful sisters at Live By, amen? We thank God so much. We didn't get their names. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> So we have Sharice Bennett, yes. Yes. Kaisha Johnson, yes. and the lovely Miss Annette Avery. Yes. 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 where we thank you. Thank God. Thank you. We know that blessing with your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, but we're not done. Okay? We're not done. Okay. We have, um, I also want to thank um, um, MJ. He, he did assist on that day one with the installation. So we want to thank him too. We didn't, you know, G is a, just a determined person. So he going to make sure it's right. Amen. He going to sneak it out. And so I thank him because he was the first person I thought about when I was like, oh Lord, they got to find somebody to say. Okay. Nephew. <laughs> Nephew said, I got you. I took a half a day of work. Yeah, yeah hallelujah. He said, I got you. Yeah, I, I, yeah. He does that with everything about Victory Word and outside of Victory Word. Yeah. So I'm so thankful for my nephew. Yeah. I'm so thankful. Because yeah. God definitely yeah. knows yeah. his name. Yeah. Yeah. He knows his name. Yeah. 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 Amen. Oh, um, so, before I get a little more emotional, um, every year, um, I turn in the name of a family to Ford Motor Company as well, and they honored our family this year. Amen. And uh, they sealed it tight, real tight. So I don't know. I don't want it to look. But usually they buy what the family needs, but since COVID, they just give out uh, gift certificates. So on behalf of Sister Sherry, on behalf of Ford Motor Company. I present you to whatever is in here <laughs> in the form of a gift card. Amen. 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 Amen.
she has uh, gift cards for you as well. Yeah. 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 And yeah. others donated money, clothing, uh, just everything. You know, it, it, it's, it was just, um, she really don't have room to receive like that. Right. <laughs> Amen. 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 Well, her Amen. apartment is overflowing. Amen. Amen. And we had a lot to do with that. Thank and I'm just you, so grateful, so grateful to you. Thank you. Grateful that you oh came God. to me and let me know. Because because <laughs> yeah. Yeah. people don't have to, some they people are just shameful of their situation. Private. And, yeah, and private. private. But she, she let me know, I, I have some needs. Yeah. And that's what we're supposed to be here for. Right. Each that's other. Right. That's right. Each other. Because you're not here from somebody, then what, what good are you? Right. Amen. We all are here for some, to help somebody. Right. Amen. Exactly. So I'm thankful. I'm thankful that she came to me. And yes. I'm thankful that we were yes. able to bless her. Yes. Amen. Amen. You want to have something to say? Just a yes. few words. I will. <laughs> <laughs> if I can give it. <laughs> um, I, I just want to say thank you to everybody. Yes. yes. First, thank you to to God. Yeah. Yes. 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 Because without Him, it wouldn't even be possible. Yes. Right. I didn't even the day that I came and I talked to you, I wasn't even going to talk to you yes. about it yes. at first, I and I just got moved to open up, mm -hmm. and I'm so glad that I. Yes. 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 Yeah. And I'm just so thankful. I love each and every one of y'all, whether I know you or not. Yeah. The love. Yeah. People don't have to do nice things for you. They don't have to do anything for right. you. But I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful that it was done for me and my baby. Mm -hmm. So just thank you. Thank you so much. I, ooh, I appreciate you so much. <laughs> <laughs> and um. That's all I got to say. Amen. 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 Just Amen. thank y'all. Amen. You want to say thank you? She's supposed to say thank you, everybody. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Amen. 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 Okay. Thank you, Pastor, for allowing us this time. Um, like I said, we, we're not finished yet. There's still more gift cards to come from ones that didn't um, make it to service today. So there's more to come. Oh my God. And we just thank yeah. God. We receive it. God. We receive it. We receive it with gratitude. Yes. 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 We receive yes. with gratitude. Yes. So, pass it back to you. Thank you again. Right. God bless you all. Amen. 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 Yes, God. Yes. Let, me, let me just say. For everyone today, indeed, I declare and decree God is going to do something for you. Right. Yes. Whatever it is you've been looking for. See, if you go into your secret closet and talk to him, he'll bless you openly. Yes. 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 And for every sacrifice that you made personally, God is going to give you double for your trust. You don't have to, it, it's not about what you do, but it's about the spirit that you do it in. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Many people give because they get a write-off at the end of the Ooh, year. Many, many corporations and, big people, and a lot of people like to give just to say that's what they did. But when you do it from your hey, heart. Yes, yes, yes. yes when, when, when God can see your authenticity. Yes. yes. Because there's a lot of people that do good for the wrong reason. Right, amen. And that's why he said, I found David, the son of, the son of Jesse, amen. a man after my own heart, which shall fulfill all of my will. Yes. How does David fulfill all of God's will? Mm -hmm. The word says, of this man's seed, <laughs> have God, according to his promise, mm -hmm. raised unto Israel a Savior Jesus. Yes. So through David's lineage of, of him being so up and down, but he had God's heart. And God allowed Jesus the Christ to come through him. And because of him, we're here today. Amen. Amen. That's truly what this season is supposed to be about. And 
We know Jesus wasn't born in the middle of winter and all of those things. It, it's symbolically, and there's Santa Claus and giving gifts and all that. But when we put all that stuff aside and find out the true gift of this season yes. is that Jesus Christ gave right, yeah. so we could give. Right. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 If, if there's one that would like to give their life to Christ that yes. might be watching me by Facebook Live or other social media outlets, pray the simple <laughs> prayer with me. Lord, I'm a sinner. And I repent of my sin. And I accept the Lord Jesus the Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. Yes. I want to be a mirror image of Him in the earth. Yeah. Yes, sir. And I thank Him that last night was not my last. Yes, night. Yes, 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 sir. And if you prayed that simple prayer, that's all it took. For you to reconcile yourself back with God. I just challenge you to join a church that will teach you about a true and living God, one that lives within you, that wakes you up every morning, that gives you the use and activities of your limbs, that teaches you the reality of serving a true and living God. And if that church is the Victory Word Church, we're a judgment free zone. We don't beat you up, we pick you up, and we watch God lift you. Yes, yes. And if you'd like to be a part of our, our fellowship here, we don't ask you to walk down the aisle, tell us where you came from, any of those things. We ask you to just talk to one of our members here. They will pray with you and they will accept you into the Victory Word Church. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. And if you are watching by social media, all you have to do is call the church office at 313-243-4512. And glad you did. Someone will call you back. They will bring you into the fellowship of the Word. Amen. 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 Well, it was a woo, it was a good day. Yeah. It was another good day to have a God day. Yeah. 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 Word. I always say, and my pastor he taught us, if you're not laughing, you're not living. Right. But Victory Word, I'm so proud of you. Have been praying and been sending up prayers. The Lions have been winning. Lord yeah. have mercy. <laughs> what are we doing? What are we doing? We serve a God. Hallelujah. Right. They just said, don't jinx them. I know that's Amen. Amen. We thank you. On behalf of myself, Lady T, AP Mark Oliver, the entire staff here at Victory Word, we love you. We can't wait to be back in our sanctuary full time at the beginning of the year. There won't be an end of the year service because that's Saturday night and we'll be right here Sunday morning. So we'll be right back here the first Sunday in 2023. Amen. 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 You can stand to your feet. We're going home. I love you, Victor Word. Word family. Let's go. Let's go.
Father, I ask for a double portion for your people today. A double portion, a double portion, a double portion, Lord, a double portion today. That is my prayer, and it is so, and it is so, and it is so, in Jesus' name. Come on, let's go higher, 